One of the biggest challenges for using the internet is efficient and accurate web search through search engines such as Google. The vast majority of users navigate the web via search engines. Although Google has not been the first search engine in the world, it was the first search engine to defeat spammers who made previous search engines almost useless. The innovation caused by Google lies in the introduction of the technique called PageRank. It is not the only technique used by Google to order the search results, but it was the first algorithm used and provides an efficient and accurate way of doing web search considering the existence of spammers. There were many search engines before Google. They mainly worked by crawling the web and listing the term found in each page with an inverted index. The inverted index is a data structure that makes it easy to find places where a given term occurred. When a search query which is represented by a list of terms is issued, the pages with those terms were extracted from the inverted index and ranked. However, at that time, some people tried to force search engines to attract them to their pages. Techniques for fooling search engines to believe that your page is about something that is not is called term spam. The ability of term spammers to operate so easily made early search engines almost useless. For example, assume you have got a page selling t-shirts. The only aim is to attract more and more people to visit your page. In order to get a higher rank in a search, you can add the term t-shirts a thousand times to your page such that your page ranks high when someone searches for t-shirts. You can even hide the word t-shirt by giving it the same color as the background color of your page. This simple trick works in the previous search engines. But Google introduced two innovations to combat the term spam. In the next part, I will talk about these two innovations. The hypothetical t-shirt vendor cannot fool search engines like Google because of the following two techniques. One, PageRank was used to simulate web surfers starting at a random page and following randomly outgoing links. Process is iterated and pages that would have a large number of surfers on it are considered as more important. Two, content is not only judged by terms appearing on it, but also by the terms used in or near the links to that page. The main idea here is that the spammers can manipulate their pages, but it's much harder to manipulate pages linking to their pages. In this case, it is more important what other pages say about their page. A spammer could create many pages on its own, but it would have no big impact as it's more important what other pages say about them. The reasons why we simulate random users or surfers are that users place links to pages that they think are good and useful, and a random surfer indicates which pages a user is likely to be visiting. Page rank is a function that assigns a real number to each page that has been crawled and whose links have been discovered. The intention here is that the higher the page rank, the more important the page. There is no fixed algorithm for assigning the page rank, and a variation of the basic idea can lead to different rankings. Next, I will discuss the basic idea about page rank.